taking the beacons out for a little easy day, a little recovery day after yesterday's 20 mile run, or as uh, Jeff from Arizona, my new running buddy likes to Even call him, the baby blues. We're taking the right. baby blues out for a short three mile easy run. I'm not going to let myself run faster than nine minute pace. So I'm just gonna bop along and that is my Truly, I, I try, I really do my best to try and stick to nine minute pace on my easy days. And uh, so we're gonna take the, the beacons out. And yes, the comment of the week is coming up. It's, I could, I could probably truly choose 20 to 30 comments that are mind blowing and inspiring and earth shattering. Just incredible comments down below. I, I'm only gonna choose one because we can't be here all day, but that is coming. Stay tuned for the comment of the week, which is the best comment in the previous seven days on this channel. It's getting ridiculously hard to choose one comment, but I'm gonna try and stick to that. So, all right, let's get the beacons on and go do three miles. Just bop it along, bop it along, baby. That's a nice sunset out there. That's a nice sunset out there. All right. Oh man, seeking beauty. Okay, met the goal, 9.25 per mile. I did not go under nine minutes, although I wanted to. I felt pretty good, but I knew because I'm doing something on Saturday, stay tuned, that I, I needed to just chill out at nine to 10 minute pace, somewhere in there, and I believe it was, yeah, the watch says 9.25 per mile. So that's good, I met the goal. And if you haven't seen the vlog about running slow in order to race fast, go check it out, upper right hand corner. It's not like my full thoughts on the topic of recovery days being easy, easy, but it'll give you a general idea of what I try to do on my easy days. Okay, whoo, things are, whoo, trucking along, trucking along, come on. Bopping along in the baby blues. I love easy days, love easy days. Okay, I just checked Strava and I have put 30 miles into the beacons. So in 20 more miles, so at the 50 mile mark, I will give you my full review on how the beacon is performing, how it feels underfoot, how the upper is, is holding up. So stay tuned for that. And now for the comment of the week. So every week I give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. It's getting difficult, but I'm gonna do it tonight and because there's so many comments, it's really, it's really difficult. But I chose Rooster tonight. I believe Rooster is from Australia. Thank you, Rooster, for this comment. He says, I watch YouTube for the free donuts, right? Just kidding. All jokes aside, number one is shoe reviews. Number two are the stories. And this is the important one. Real people on the real journey to their goals of half or full marathons ultras 5k or 10k prs or just to make the distance it's inspiring to watch and the and the help that people are are willing to give in the comments is great to read 
Sure, there are some nasty keyboard warriors out there, but the love and magic of YouTubers out there far outweigh this, and it can show the true characteristics of the human spirit. Keep posting, man. Thank you, Rooster. You get the comment of the week. I just... First of all, you answered the question of the day very well. Thank you for that. This was from two days ago. And I think you just encapsulate like, yes, every now and then you find a bad egg in the in the comments, you know, and that's fine. Like there's going to be critics and I I actually welcome it. I welcome it. But overall, it's it's the positivity and the encouragement and the motivation that you guys are bringing. Not just not just me talking to you and sharing beautiful shots, but it's it's frankly your thoughts, your wisdom that you're sharing in the comments below that I believe Rooster and many other people are picking up on. So keep commenting, keep it coming, keep it coming. And the keyword of the day is future. Why is it future? Because we are preparing for the future on YouTube and in running in general by listening to you, by reading your comments and the question of the day. And two days ago, you just, you did it, you did it. I, th I think there was about 200 comments on one video where I asked this question. What are the top two reasons you watch running videos on YouTube. So we ended up with 10 options. You all had two additional ideas that I had not thought of. So I'm gonna list, I, I took all of your comments and I put them into a spreadsheet because I wanna prepare for the future and I wanna listen to you, YouTube. Your opinions, your thoughts, your ideas matter. They really matter. And so I compiled them into a spreadsheet and I'm gonna list from the least to the most as far as which one's got the most votes down, to, or sorry, which one's got the least votes all the way up to the most votes and then we'll break it down. Okay, you ready? Okay, number 10, injury prevention. I didn't even think of that. I probably should have had that as an option. But anyway, two people mentioned it in the comments. So number 10 is injury prevention. Number nine, how to start running. That got four votes. So to all the new runners out there, welcome. Number eight, nutrition, got six votes. Number seven, entertainment. I did not think of this category. 14 people watch running videos on YouTube for the entertainment. That's a good, I like that. I like that to be entertained. That's a good reason. Number six, training plans and tips got 25 votes. So 25 people interested in training ideas, training plans. I like it. Number five, building community got 26 votes. Oh, amazing. Like that's, that. It's frankly, I mean, that's, that's a high one on my list. Okay. Number four, gear reviews. So this is out, outerwear, watches, hats, gloves, sunglasses, backpacks, that sort of thing. That was number four, and that got 42 votes. Number three, racing recap and vlog videos. So racing recap vlog videos got 43 votes. Love it, love it, love it. Number two, running shoe reviews, 65 votes. Running shoe reviews, and number one, running motivation, 83 votes. So the top three, again, racing recap videos, running shoe reviews, and running motivation. Thank you for taking the time to voice your opinion. It matters for voting, it matters, thank you. And essentially, I'm gonna save this spreadsheet and study it a little more. I'm not gonna break down right now every single category. It's fascinating. I feel like it's an amazing amount of information for me to absorb, to process, and yes, to act upon for you. Speaking of which, number two is running shoe reviews. Guess what? Yes, tomorrow, new shoes arriving. Stay tuned. I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting, but it's going to be an interesting shoe. I'll just put it that way. Interesting shoe. And third place, racing vlogs. Well, guys, I can't help myself. I'm jumping into a race on Saturday. I can't help myself. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. It's not a 50K. I'm not going to tell you the distance. Come back Saturday. Actually, come back Sunday. Well, unless you want to connect on Strava. I'll upload it to Strava on Saturday. But on Sunday, you'll see the race video. It's not a 50K. It's well, I, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop. And number one, running motivation. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in the right spot. I hope you saw yesterday's vlog and video from Magnolia Road. Uh, well, let's roll a little clip from that.
So if you didn't see that video, go check it out, upper right hand corner, click on that link and it, you, you just absorb, absorb the beauty, absorb the, the grit, absorb the mud, absorb the, uh, the music. It just was a good video that I wanna make more of. Therefore, because you made your voice heard two days ago in the comments below by answering the question of the day, you put running shoe reviews as the number two reason why you watch running videos on YouTube I want to listen. I'm listening to you. So I want to provide value back to you by this question of the day. Okay, you ready for this? Here it is. Which pair of running shoes should I purchase in the next two weeks to give you my initial impressions on, run in, of course, and give you my full review on probably about two to three weeks later? All right. So I have a working list down below pinned to the top of the comment section check out that list and you can choose from that list or if you really make a strong case for another shoe please do add that in the comments below i will do the same thing with a spreadsheet i'll go through i will tally up all of your opinions all of your thoughts as to which shoe i should purchase give my review on eventually and there you go that is the question of the day thank you your vote, your opinions matter, and yes, you will guide, you will you will have an influence on, and listen, if the shoe is not listed below, make your case for another shoe, but we, you, gotta, you gotta get people on board because it's all about that voting. All right, love you guys. That is it for today, and yes, there will be a new shoe tomorrow. Come back for the secret shoe. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. All right, seek beauty, work hard, love each other, and we will see you tomorrow. Let's do this.